Hey, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've had a chance to make a video. Um, it's been pretty crazy since I've been packing up, trying to get things settled up to move. Um, anyway, so this is a pen here by Dale Parrott. Um, he normally does a really unique job with his pens. Um, typically uses walnut and oak. This is the first one I've seen him do in a while with black locust. And anyway, uh, he usually comes up with something very creative and this is no uh, exception to that rule. Um, Celtic knots with a twist, obviously. And let's take a look at a close-up picture of that. And yeah, that's pretty amazing by Dale. He always uh, does something pretty unique, so it's pretty cool to see what, what he comes up with. Another one here by Dale, using the drill press jig, some basic segmenting and whatnot, so pretty cool uh, opposite colors. Um, really neat pen there by him. Going over to Bespoke Pens. Uh, this is from the uh, David Broadwell's Best of Show since there wasn't a um, St. Louis Pen Show this year because of COVID. Uh, David Broadwell had a contest that he had hosted and uh, had everything sent to his place of residence and everything was judged over there. So pretty cool. Uh, mine is right here, and you can see the one guy here that won. He's the one that got the trophy. And everyone else that uh, contributed. And I'm sorry, I'm just totally drawing a blank as far as the names. Otherwise, I would say who they are. I can remember a couple of them here and there, but I know Gregory Hardy. He's the one that won. Um, some, I think it was My Secret Garden is what the theme of his pen was called. So anyway, uh, great job to everyone that entered the contest. Uh, no individual pin pictures, just the just the grouping here. Uh, from Perry Bridges segmented blanks and pins. Uh, this is also a um, a sort of a I'm not going to say bespoke, but it's. Um, you know, a fountain pen and whatnot. So, uh, so I grouped it instead of in the segmented category uh, by with uh, Dale from the previous two pen photos. But anyway, uh, great job by Perry Bridges uh, from some segmenting. Beautiful choice of woods and materials. Troy Breeding. Uh, one of my favorite uh, pen turners and you know I've said before in the past that I've never really met any of these guys I only know them from Facebook and being involved in the same groups as these individuals so um, I'm just passing off their work and just telling you how much I admire their stuff and their creativity and all of his hand engraving this one's called Dark Knight and there's a couple better pictures here and he does his own hand engraving as well and a close-up of that pretty amazing engraving another one of Troy's look at this one this is one of the more recent ones that he's finished and uh, you can see why he's one of my favorites a little bit closer look, choice of materials, metal, and, and engraving. Just an amazing craftsman. Leslie uh, White, and uh, this is um, African Blackwood from the Penn Artisan Group Friends. And uh, he does something a little bit different here. You can see the threads that's on the end of the cap at the section so 
just a really unique uh, way of doing things and a little bit better look of that African blackwood with the grain is really amazing and with the black nib as well really shows off that uh, wood so and he's threading directly on wood with some uh, CA for stabilizing another one from Leslie uh, again just an amazing uh, pin turner here this one um, he has the threads on the back of a section or behind the section and uh, yeah just just an amazing amazing artist when it comes to putting things together and this one is the last one here from I think it's the last one yeah, this is the last one from Jason Olson updating his cover photo. So that is it. Thank you for watching and have a good night.